Yo, 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 what's up? Uh, bit quiet today, bit quiet audio, but, you know, it isn't my fault, guys, I apologize. I'm using the goddamn mic on my broken headphones, and there's only one side, and that's not <laughs> my, my fucking Apple earphones. My cat bit the other side off. No, this one, my cat didn't bite. This one, it just fell off. I don't know why. It literally just fell off. I don't know. I, I can send you an image. I'll show you an image. Oh, but it happening. It was, it was the weirdest. It was the weirdest thing ever. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, at least the mic's working. You know, and today in this video, I just want to talk about something really important. Something that really hits home for me. Because I was, I, was, I was listening, not watching. I was listening to a DVDR video, and DVDR was talking about, you know, loneliness and like his mom, like kind of abusing him, like always, always on his, all on his case, always on his case, and you know, always talking shit and always doing this always doing that and it's just like yeah that is so fucking real bro honestly that is just too real way too real like <laughs> related way too hard at, at this like at this um at this content like he started sleeping in his car recently just like to find peace and he said that it was weirdly relaxing because when he slept in his car he could just like finally have peace in his life too and I just thought to myself, like, yeah, like, of course this guy's black pill. This guy is so jaded. And, like, honestly, I, I, I myself am looking towards the black pill as well, but I'm not swallowing that pill yet because I do have hope and I do want to retain hope for a good while, like, at least another 10 years. Another, honestly, for the rest of my life, I want to retain hope that things are going to be better, things are going to be good, and I'm going, it's all going to pay off. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, loneliness, if you're a man, listen, loneliness will will follow you in every aspect of your life. Even if you are successful, even if you are, you know, outstanding, you're brilliant, you're an outlier male. Whether it's the outlier male, the average male, the beta male, the subhuman male, whatever you want to call it. Everyone, every male, everyone on each level will feel loneliness to a degree. Now, how do we deal with loneliness? There's a few things we can do to deal with loneliness. And I would recommend three things. Work fucking harder. Classic, right? Get, get back to fucking work. David Goggins style. But honestly, I recommend this because when you are working hard, when you are grinding, it's very, very difficult to just think about how shit the situation is. You're just focused on working harder. You're just focused on the next project with the next big thing. The next, the next punch. If you're, if you're boxing, the next technique you should try. No, I should have just parried this punch. I should use my jab here. I'm not using my jab enough. My footwork's kind of sloppy. I'm crossing my feet. Like you, you're focusing on these things, and that takes away from like the shittiness of the situation. So working harder is definitely always a valid option. And the second option I would recommend is trying to solve the problem of loneliness. Why do you feel lonely? You're around people. Why do you feel lonely around these people? Is there anything that you can do to change your environment so you can be with people that you love, people that respect you, people that not necessarily revere you but give you that, you know, that sense of belonging that you all that you you genuinely bro. Everyone deserves the sense of a sense of belonging within their friendship groups. I, this is why I cut all my friends off because I didn't feel like, I felt like I didn't feel like I belonged there. I didn't feel like I belonged there for a minute. So I just cut everyone off. And like the people that come back into my life, they seep back into my life one by one. That text me and reach out to me, show that they care. I allow them back in, but everyone else doesn't give a fuck. So I don't give a fuck either. Like if 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 I wanted for something from them, like a business, or like what I, I wanted them on my podcast, and I wanted like, you know, I just miss them, and I wanted to like reconnect. I'm sure I'll send them a text. I put utmost effort into talking to them, but after like, the sense of want wanting has been satisfied, I'll just go back to my fucking devices, bro. Most men think this way, and it is a negative, negative way to think. I'll be genuinely, uh, perfectly honest with you. We, we, we've very far gone from the days when you know people are genuinely interested in each other. It's very, very difficult to be genuinely interested in each other. And I think that even if I wanted a person for like a more superficial thing, like I, maybe I want like you know something that they have, or I want them on my podcast, so I can create content with them. Even then, I think that's still better than nothing. So, yeah, I, I would definitely seek to change my environment so I would be in a place where I'm loved and respected. I, I remember, I keep thinking about this, but, like, that, that you know, the Ana de Armas, 
she played like a robot AI character in in Blade Runner, <laughs> and she told um, Joe, that's his name, Joe, that you are loved, you are wanted, you are appreciated, and like those words hit so fucking hard because like men know knows what it likes to feel fucking lonely, like guys know what it's fucking like, like come on, every every guy knows, like Ryan Gosling knows what it feels like to be lonely, Ryan Reynolds, anyone at any echelon. Any man knows it feels like to be lonely. You could you could try to curate your environment in order to feel less lonely. You could be a part of a group of ruthless killers who are like, motherfucker, it's not time to be lonely. Get back to work. And like that, in a sense, can make you feel less lonely because like you're around your bros that love fucking working hard and making money, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, you're finding my people. You know what I'm saying, guys? And like, I would one work harder, two change my environment, and three. This is 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 goes crazy. This goes crazy. But it kind of ties in with the environment thing. But I would I would do one thing and one thing only that would like change everything. And I'm probably gonna take this as I've I've taken this advice and it's worked. But it only worked to a certain degree. Let me tell you. I'll tell you why as well. The third thing I'll tell you is be genuinely interested in other people. Like chase other people because people like people are fucking lazy. What did I say about? Like, you know, if, if they don't message me, I won't message them. Yeah, they don't care about me. Like, a lot of people think this way. Like, be genuinely interested in everyone you meet. Handshake, eye contact, hugs. You know what I'm saying, guys? Fuck the social media. The social media is dumb. Like, social media just makes everyone more distant. In the age of social media, everyone's less social because everything becomes more convenient. And I'm, and I'm like, you know, doing my fingers in the bunny thing. But, like, everything becomes convenient. Everything, like, becomes thing. Like, it just nothing means anything anymore. Having face-to-face like you know, human connection is paramount. Being genuinely interested in other people, pushing for relationships, like it's paramount. You you will get everything you want out of that person, whether it's friendship, whether it's money, whatever, whatever it is. Like that's kind of like a Machiavellian foil or power thing, but it's it's the truth. That's how you be, be less lonely. And here's 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 the the new one that I'm gonna tell you that has that has not worked for me because I was born an introvert, but I was made an extrovert like through action. Through consistently socializing, through talking to people, through eye contact, through all, learning all these social skills, social these meta skills, like I become an extrovert. But even then, like there'll be days like people are not either extrovert or introvert. I genuinely believe this. And and then I heard this like weird term online called introvert. Like stop adding fucking words to this dumb fucking like, extrovert introvert is enough, bro. Like holy shit. Like and then there's like. You can be like half half or like fifty percent or sixty forty or eighty twenty if you if you're catching my drift guys and i I think where I went from was like um a seventy thirty uh seventy percent introvert thirty percent extrovert because i when I was around people that I like like my friends and stuff I would be very very like loud outgoing but like, if I was around like strangers I was like I don't give a fuck but like these days it's more eighty twenty eighty percent intro uh, extrovert twenty percent introvert like I do feel like introverted at times. But most of the time, I feel extrovert. I can be around strangers. I, could, I don't give a fuck. I just be, be myself. Because, like, it, you could say this is cold, but, like, I'm a fuck, I give a fuck. In a week, they'll forget. And if they're weak, they keep, like, I'm rent free in their head, then, like, what the fuck? They're in love with me or some shit. Like, what the what is going on here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, the nuance that I, I wanted to uh, share with you guys is that you might, because, you know, people are usually not exactly introvert, exactly extrovert, you will probably feel burnout from this. You feel tired. You probably won't feel like your efforts being reciprocated, which is probably the truth. People are fucking lazy. People leave you unseen. People ghost you. This is probably the case. Like, I, the amount of times I've been ghosted, the amount of times I've, been, I've ghosted other people, is like it's insane. And when I ghost other people, I feel incredibly guilty for doing so. But like motherfuckers will ghost me without like you know any any single like semblance of like you know how do I say this regret mis- not mischief mischief. But like remorse, I think that was the right word. Remorse. Like people will ghost me when I fucking like I'm generally interested. I'm like, hey, yo, what's up, dude? What you doing this? And then they'll just ghost me like, yeah, GG, bro, you won. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> well, now we're both lonely. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just, like your effort won't be reciprocated. That's my gen. Like that's like thing, and you want to be in a group where your effort will be reciprocated, not all the time. But like you have like cause, you have like the ability to communicate, you have the ability to just commune, and just hang out, like just chill. I don't know, like no, I do know the last time I've chilled, with my friend, but like with a group of friends, like just a group of people, my bros. Maybe I, had, maybe I had with two, like a girl or two of them. Maybe one's pick me, maybe one's like you know a guy's girlfriend. 
you know, just get added some diversity to the group. <laughs> Maybe one's gay. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm taking bro. But like, do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know the last time and maybe because I'm working hard, I'm grinding for the business, I'm grinding for this, grinding for that. Fair enough, like, for me, that's like fair enough. Like for me, I, I just, I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. But like, mother trucker, dude, mother fluffer, I, it's just, it is extremely, extremely like, lonely at times. You know what I'm saying, guys? And the worst feeling is, is that when I would do all these things, like I would, you know, Put effort into other people. I'll be fun. I'll be outgoing. Make jokes. Crack jokes. Change my environment. You know, be in a more like sociable environment. You know, I I would you know work extremely hard. They, I'll be honest with you. Like, yeah, you're full only. This is just your predisposition as your as a person. Like, until you find perhaps a significant partner, perhaps that one fucking friend that just it's just, it's too it's just so real. But like, he's not real in like a cringe way, but like real in like. Holy shit, this guy understands my mojo. This guy understands my language. Until you find an individual like this, you won't stop feeling lonely. You won't stop. Like, th that's the reality of the situation, guys. And, like, and I love fucking seeing the reality of the situation. Like, uh, it's just, uh, you're not insufferable for the most part. Like, most people aren't insufferable. Most people are just lonely, looking for, like, the right people. You know what I'm saying, guys? And uh, it's, uh, if you are uh, uns insufferable, like, just ask, honestly. Like, if you want to find out if you're insufferable or not, just say, hey, do you think I'm insufferable? If you get a yes, then there's two things you can do. You can genuinely look into your character. You can start recording videos, see how you behave. If you cringe at yourself, perhaps it doesn't need to be changed. But if you truly resonate with everything you're saying, and you're truly, truly, like, because I know people that do cringe at themselves when they fucking hear themselves talk. Like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro, you're fucking cringe. Just record a video and then hear yourself talk. And then, like, they hate me for, like, a week, and then they just do it. And then they're, holy shit. Like, I'm, I am in sorrow. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm here for you, bro. Change. It's not that deep, bro. And it's really not that deep. No, really not that deep. Yeah, don't make me repeat. That's what I'm, that's what I'm tweaking, bro. Like, most people aren't suffering. Most people are just looking for the right group of people. You know what I'm saying, guys? And it's going to take a while to get there. And you're going to feel lonely. And your predisposition, if you are feeling lonely, especially with a group of friends as well, is that you are going to feel lonely. It is very rare you will find people that are truly present in the moment who are just there for you. And I've tried to ha like, capture this feeling before, and I just can't. Like when you, when you try to chase feelings, you'll be fucking running and chasing for a very, very long time because feelings are fleeting. You know what I'm saying, guys? Just tr try to attain something more tangible. And it could be something as artificial, superficial as money. If you're on your purpose, you're on your grind, then fuck it, bro. Like, uh, I, in, in, in situations with family and friends around, I would feel lonely. In situations when, you know, a person I would consider my best friend around, feel lonely. Like, this is just, like, my predis predisposition as an individual. Like, I, I, I can't do anything. I can't help it. I just can't. I would recommend podcasts. I recommend doing podcasts. You know, it can be like seem like cringe. A meaningful conversation goes a long way. I don't know about you, but a meaningful conversation. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter who you are. A meaningful conversation of just two, uh, just a person that just fucking understands. Who just uh, like you know what I'm saying? Like, who? I mean, you're gonna get judged no matter what. But who doesn't judge you with malice? I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I remember a good friend of mine from um, secondary school, um, high school. You guys would call it. Like, he, he failed his dreams. He's working at some bar now, like, for minimum wage. But, like, he had no money. I didn't talk to him at this point because I already graduated. He had no money. He was chasing his dreams. He wanted to be, like, a biker in France. He went to, he, he went to France with no money. He, he got fucked up. He had, like, 10p in his bank account. He barely scrounged enough money to get back into the UK. Because, like, all the teams rejected him. And I thought to myself, like, yeah, I've been there. Like, there's nothing la worth laughing about in this situation. I've fucking been there, bro. And finding individuals that understand you at this level, I think it means the world. I, I think it genuinely means the world. There's also, there's, there's definitely merit to people that, like, you know, don't take things as serious and like, just ha-ha, like, fuck it, bro. But, like, there's a limit to how unserious an individual can be. I genuinely believe this from the bottom of my heart. Like, if you... Like with, with Andrew Tate and my, Mr. Top G and himself, like, he's a multi-millionaire. Like, I remember when his friend Marcel, I don't know if you guys know the new ones, but like, he has a friend who's, like, his childhood friend. And, like, he bought his childhood friend on the private jet. And, like, his friend was like, holy crap, you actually made it. And, like, he twisted, like, shifted from like, this unserious individual, like, 
bro, I need to fucking lock in. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, he, he changed so radically because he saw his friend, and perhaps within jealousy, perhaps within judgment, perhaps within all these things, he changed. And he's still around top G himself, like, and he's rich now, probably. Lord, I'm my problem, what I'm in So fuck it. What I say before about jealousy and, and envy and, 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 like, and, and hatred and regret, like these emotions are actually good because they can inspire change. If anything. Anyway, this, that's an unrelated topic. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, to hear, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to talk about loneliness, okay, guys? I, I could recommend doing YouTube videos as well if you, if you really wanted to, if, you're, if you have the predisposition to talk. I mean, I don't think I do because I stutter all around, but fucking hell. Like, I mean, freaking hell. <laughs> YouTube, uh, give, me, give, me that, give me that CPM right here, oh, nah, clicks per minute, I mean clicks per view, Click, is it clicks per monetary, I don't know what it is, why is it called CPM, is, click, is it clicks per view, is CPPV, I'm done, because yeah, that's what I would recommend, I would just stay away from that. Stay away from the YouTube. I'm on YouTube right now. It's nothing, nothing looks interesting. There is YouTube. I'm trying to upload some videos. <sighs> oh my god, I'm tired, man. That's how it is, boys. That's how it is. I'm trying to get some Batman content so I can play some, like, get some Batman content. Bro, I'm trying to get some DVR videos so I can use his gameplay. I don't want to use my crappy Obwatch gameplay. Uh, DBDR. I see him, bro. I low-key like this guy's content. I low-key do. I swear to God. I low-key do. Wait, he's making progress? Should have talked to the girl she met in the bathroom, but I wasn't thinking. Well, we'll see. The rest of the month, she goes on a trade school for what I want to do. Most likely, plumber. Electrician plumber route. I was a few plumbers this week, and they make a lot of money, so I'll ha at least I'll have that. Edit a post update. How brutally friend zoned I got. Real. Type real in chat, guys. Type real in chat. He sounds a bit happier. Yeah, yeah the DBDR thing, like, I really like the DBDR. He's so real. Like, I really like this guy. I, I really, really do. Despite, despite him being black pilled, I'm going to listen to his new video. Like, his, his content is, in my opinion, like, it's just so, God, gosh darn real. Like, you can't help but just, like, relate. You feel me? You can't help but relate. Ah, uh, can't find expert Batman gameplay. Expert Batman gameplay. 100 hours. I'm done. It's only two minutes long. I need more, bro. I can't just reuse content. I mean, I can. Because of the audio. Wait, he's still uploading, though. This guy goes crazy though. He's actually what his work ethic is impressive. But anyways, yeah, I don't mean to like just stop there. <laughs> this is what I was trying to cut. I, I apologize. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, that's I, that's how I would go about feeling less lonely. YouTube videos really help a lot because then you can, like, you know when you're you know when you're replying to comments, it's kind of like texting someone. But then like, if they're like, holy shit, this video is so real, like, that really hits home. That really does. Like it really does, guys. It like it really, it it means the world to me when someone comments, "Hey, this is real," or someone comments, "You dumb fuck." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the, there's like fire stoked in my blood. I actually feel something for the first time. I certainly don't feel happy, but I don't feel lonely. So I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what, that, this, that's the advice I would go about giving you. <sighs> Good luck, man. I think you, bro. I know you can do it. You don't even, you don't, I don't even have my face on these videos. Good luck, bro. I wish you the best. Holy crap. Face recognition recognize me, man. Just because I lost weight doesn't mean you can't recognize me. 
like it's so weird as well because like everyone if you are in the self-improvement space you make money you read books you're doing this stuff you're seen as so weird and like you can't find your people bro like it's so hard to find your people and like oh you're just trying to be andrew tate you're just trying to be like bro like i've been on this shit bro before Andrew Tate was big, I was with I was listening to Hamza, I was listening to Andrew Huberman, I was listening to Alex Hormozzi, I, I was re, I was reading up Elon Musk stuff. I was a geek about this shit. I I wanted to be better, bro. It's just because of the resurgence or insurgence. I don't know what the word is. Surgence, I guess, of of Top G Andrew Tate himself. Like it's just I I, I feel alienated within my own friends groups. Like I I know what it it, it is like, guys. Like, why do you think I cut I blocked everyone? I cut off everyone. Like guys, I thought that were like you know on their grind, like playing video games. I'm like, okay, bye. Like just, just focus on work and focus on my grind set. Focus on what what I believe truly matters to me. And as a result, yeah, you're gonna feel lonely, bro. You're an entrepreneur. Most days it's just work, 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 work. Turn on the computer. Work, 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 work. Make money, make uh, make money, make money, make money. Whoa, you be. It just becomes fucking normal. Work, 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 work. I need to make more money. How I hit as well as quarter this month. I don't. Oh, that guy flicked on me or business or business looking down. <coughs> like you want to be successful. You want to be great. You want to be glorious. Like no one wants to be glorious. I, in my boxing gym alone, I, I haven't been boxing in three weeks. I'm a fucking dumb fuck. I'm an idiot. But like in my boxing gym alone, there'll be, there's guys that come like once a month, once two months. And like they're amateur, they have a few fights, but that's all they're ever gonna be. Like you're not you're not a Mike Tyson, you're not a Floyd Mayweather, and then they might call for you, oh yeah, but those guys are like thing, blah, blah, blah. but like these guys aren't they aren't trying hard. They aren't pushing themselves to the absolute and utter limit. They aren't trying to you know what I'm saying? They're not they're not daring to be great. They're not daring to do. And it's gonna be lonely. Tyson Fury is lonely. And that's Tyson Fury. Floyd Mayweather is lonely. I don't know if you guys have seen his expression. I, I really wanted to make this a video. And I really want to... I really want to add this in. This is just one, one thing in, like... Like, there's a video of, like... Floyd Mayweather after he beats Canelo. And he's, like, he's just driving his car. And you can just see his eyes. They're filled with loneliness. The best in the world. Lonely. He's got everything a man could ever desire. Lonely. From the highest to the low, from any echelon, that you will see men, they are going to be lonely. That's the, that's the truth. That's the reality. And it's going to be suck. And it's going to be crazy. The next best thing is family. Have a lot of kids. Donate your, your, your jizz. Donate your uh, rizzy, rizzy juice. And that's the next, the next best thing I can tell you. Really, from the bottom of my heart, because because then you might feel less lonely. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, it's a shame. Kind of, I feel like I had some more in me, but I I'm gonna end this video here. Like, <laughs> I, I, it's just funny, like to me, because. Making these videos make me feel so much less lonely, honestly. And when I work, I feel so much less lonely. Like guys, if if it means the world to me, if you guys comment, I don't need I don't need the money. I mean, I do need the money. I would perfectly honest with you, but like, is, oh, how am I gonna make money? I have like five hundred subs, bro. No, I have four hundred seventy subs. I need I need five hundred subs to get monetized. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. So I'm not gonna get monetized anytime soon. But at this very moment, I'm just doing it out of passion. Of desire, desire to be successful, of course, but desire to just have people around me that resonate with me. You know, I met I met this guy who was rich recently. I'm gonna call him E, uh, Evan. His real name's not Evan, but like, he was very rich. He had like Amex black card. He was in the UK, but like he was just kind of insufferable. Like, I don't know. He just tell me we didn't click. We I, we met off Apex Legends, and I really liked this guy as well, and I really looked up to him a little bit. But um, I just got, could get the feeling he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like hearing me talk. He likes hearing himself talk, which is fine. And I do like hearing him talk. I'll admit the truth. But finding your people is a hard thing. I should just do more podcasts. Fuck it, bro. I should 
get this content out, I should edit the videos up, I should upload the shorts, I should edit the shorts, and I should start going back with the podcast, so I should invite people on podcasts, to just find my people, that's, that, that's a good plan, I can't lie, I think, bro, every, every white guy ever, I'm not even white, man, I'm, I'm Asian, I'm Asian as fuck, uh, oh my god, bro, oh my god, <laughs> And nothing wrong with being white in twenty twenty three, bro. Nothing wrong with that. You were born like it's, you didn't, you had no choice in being born, so fuck it, bro. Never never be shamed for the the color of your skin. You had no choice, bro. It's complete RNG. You spawned in, and then you just you gain consciousness at like sixteen years old while playing fucking Fortnite, and then you realize, oh shit, I'm alive. I can breathe. I can I can sing. I want to live. Oh yeah, and I'm white as well. Like we have kids. I remember when in primary school, I had images of me in primary school. Like you have kids all around, black, white, Asian, Latino. We don't see each other for race. We don't see each other for this dumb shit. We just see each other like he's annoying. He likes playing with Legos. Yay! He's a geek. He likes reading books. Like you know what I'm saying, guys. It's a very simplistic, innocent, pure way of like thinking. Not in this modern day though, because kids these days are just corrupted by TikTok. W is W is. Bro, I have like a fucking eight year old little. Little cousin, he just says W Riz TikTok for real TikTok oh, on gang on phone. Um, that shit looked like Fortnite, uh, and he plays like Roblox on one screen on his iPad, and he watches YouTube Shorts on the other screen on his mum's phone. Like it's it's insufferable, bro. I don't know what I can do. I really don't. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Uh, it really it really is like that's a lot to take in. I believe in you, bro. Anyone listening to this video, I believe in you, bro. I'm going to end this video here. I apologize for taking up half an hour of your time. <sighs> Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for listening. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Peace. Sui.